Welcome back, happy campers. My name is Amanda here at Cookville RV Marine, and today we're going to take an inside look into this 2021 Flagstaff Superlight 529 MBS. Let's take a look at the front first. This gigantic fiberglass cap is beautiful with this accent lining as well. This is a fifth wheel, has a turning point head right here, does pivot a little bit. But let's take a look at the front. There's a nice big storage option up front. For any of your hoses you may need to keep while you're on the road, it does clip pretty easily up here, regardless of how I do it. We do have our battery disconnect in there as well. We have our docking lights and the front cap are here. And it is prepped for a solar panel if you wanted to add that on as well. But let's take a look at the pass-through storage. Looking at our storage, so we have our propane tank storage. There are two on this unit, one on this side and one on the other side. So that's pretty easy. And then our pass-through storage is here. Very deep, very wide. You can always get anything you need in there. There is a light in there as well. On the other side, you have your utility bay and your water purifying system and all of those things. Slam latch for convenient. It does have a magnetic hold at the top. We have this amazing awning. If you'll look up, this is a 16 foot awning. It has a beautiful LED light strip underneath. And you can see that we do have some of the windows open. You have both traditional windows and frameless windows on this unit as well. Looking to our steps, we have the more ride step system. Pretty convenient, one person, one child can lift it up, lower it down, it's pretty easy. Nice big grip handle here and a friction door that stays open, pretty convenient as well. Uh, also one thing worth mentioning, we do have a slide cover on this specific unit, but do keep in mind that some of these features may vary between units, so check with your dealer or on the specific unit you're interested in. But let's take a look inside. Okay, first thing we're gonna look at is this mid bunk right through this right when you enter. So behind this very pretty wooden door, it has a metal catch, is our mid bunk room. We have a 60 inch high to bed sofa, and this is in a slide. The head clearance here is a little bit lower than the other parts of the camper, but that's because the loft above. But I am six foot tall and I feel pretty comfortable in this space. But looking across, we do see lots of storage options. Nice tall storage options, very deep. You can fit full-size comforters in there, extra blankets, board games for the kids, whether you want to make this a playroom or even a bedroom from one of your kids. There's plenty of space here. And this nice ledge with a TV option and some receptacles as well. But let's take a look at the loft. Up the stairs to our loft, we're going to notice that we have a very heavy duty staircase. Like I'm shaking this and it's not going anywhere. And this is very heavy duty too, so no one's gonna no one's gonna break this, no one's gonna fall. It's very secure and safe. But up here we have a normal size camper mattress that is a queen size. And at the top there we do have some really nice built-in storage options. Sort of acts like a headboard, nice receptacles up there if you want to charge anything, huge window that you can open, and even a vent up here as well. And don't forget the light switch for the kids, so don't have to come down to turn the lights off. Enough of the bunk area, let's get to my personal favorite part, the living space. Take a look at this. This color scheme is gorgeous, very light and airy and open, super great for entertaining or even hanging out with your family. But let's look to my right, you'll see this massive U-shaped dinette. Now this does convert into another sleeping area if you would like, but it has some nice storage underneath as well, some big drawers to hold anything that go all the way back. Super comfy. We got some nice windows in the slide as well. These are frameless and these are our traditional windows. We've got some cross airflow, two different kinds of windows. Pretty nice. Looking to my left, we'll see that we have a gigantic entertainment settings. <laughs> this TV does pull out for some added storage behind. For any of the little things you need to keep out of the way, people won't even notice they're there. Nice little cubby here and our speaker system for our outdoor speakers and a nice fireplace for an extra space heater option, option as well. Looking towards the kitchen sink, we have some more drawers for storage for your kitchen needs. Nice receptacle there. Big deep sink with a few different options for covers, that's very convenient. And don't forget we have some charging towers, both on this side and over here as well. 
added convenience. Nice big window behind the sink and don't miss these details. I love this backsplash. So modern, light and airy. More storage above, but we have a three burner top stove. I really love this lighting accent. It's a nice white LED. It's not a color, so you can really build on that. Nice hood range and a microwave. Looking towards our fridge, gas electric fridge, pretty standard, and a huge pantry that does light up as well. I think you can opt in for a residential fridge if you would like, it just may take away your pantry. The theater seating, the beloved theater seating, we all love this. It's right across from our big TV. We can sit and relax, recline, next to some big windows for some more airflow. And above me is way more storage than you would ever need. Before we head into the master, let's take this route through the bathroom. So this bathroom is a walk through to the master. Nice corner sink with some extra uh, countertop space. Medicine cabinet, nice accent lighting for any of your makeup needs. Corner shower, frosted glass, great sunlight added in by that skylight, and a nice caddy for all of your, sh your shower needs. Storage above the toilet, easy. A nice vent as well. And even a linen option attached to your master wardrobe as well. That's really deep. There's lots of storage there. But let's move into the master. We moved into the bedroom, but the audio did not. But you don't want to miss this master. So, looking at the nice queen bed, we have lots of overhead storage. We do have two different side, two different size side tables. One smaller one over there with the storage option underneath, and a bigger drawer style one over here. There are receptacles on each end, USBs on this end. Nice big window over there, and this wardrobe glass front. Nice space for hanging up everything you may need. Plenty of storage there. And even in a few added drawers at the bottom here. Very nice. And the storage under this bed is big enough to hold almost anything you may need. Are you obsessed yet? Do you have any questions about this Flagstaff? Visit us here at Cookville RV and Marine or visit us online at cookvillerv.com. Want to see more videos like this? Give us a comment. Give us a like, hit that subscribe button, and don't forget, at Cookville RV Marine, your adventure awaits.